Hey guys, and welcome back to Rust News. So, unfortunately, Quinn has died again, so I'm gonna be going solo style until we can either hire Ruffman as his full time replacement or use Black Magic to revive him. Anyway, first I'm gonna cover all the bug fixes from this week, and then I'm gonna talk about all the new stuff. The animal pile at the center of the map was fixed, and the animals now have their proper AI, and they are hungry for sausage. Water reflection fog works properly. You start with only a rock, and Rust will now run a 64 bit build if you have a 64 bit computer. Upgrading to 64 bit caused a lot more crashes, so they added an automatic crash locking system to help resolve the issues. Campfires now start with a little bit of wood in them, like we're used to, and the damage from melee weapons is applied at the proper point in the swimming animation. You used to be able to access the context menus and use people's stuff through walls, but alas, no longer. Now, here's a huge new feature triangular foundations. This is the perfect solution for making houses less square. They fit right in with the square foundations and allow you to make beautiful circular buildings. Props to Howie for coming up with this idea. There's a crude red or green square to represent the locks on doors. The art will obviously be improved, but it's a step in the right direction. So this is pretty much the coolest outfit anyone could imagine. And here it is in Rust. Mismatched rubber boots and a sexy yellow onesie with one of them fancy new fish bowls for helmets. If you want, you can remove the helmet and gloves and head to the desert to cook some meth. Whoa, is that an iceberg? What is that doing in Rust? Silly old Gary. Trees and snow biomes now have snow on them, although I'm pretty sure last week they said they wouldn't be improving trees at all until Speed Tree was added. Xavier is working on a new sleeping bag model. Very rustic. And now it's time for one of the best concept corners we've had in a while, featuring a bunch of old structures to be used as unique landmarks procedurally placed throughout the world, as well as some hardcore medkit replacement concepts by Meg. So here we are, another Friday gone, and we continue to see progress towards a really polished looking Rust. If you enjoyed it would be great if you could leave a like or go subscribe to our backup channel, which will be linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you all next time.